In this lesson, I'd like to help you to understand the concept of the home folder in Snow Leopard. The home folder is basically an area where you can store all of your files related to you as the specific user on the computer. We'll talk more about user accounts in Chapter 4, but for now simply understand that when you created your username and password when you first installed Snow Leopard or when you purchased your computer, an account was created for you and you were given a home folder. Let's take a look. If we go to the file menu and we choose new finder window, you're going to notice that in the sidebar there's an item that has a house icon to the left of it. Now your user account hopefully is going to be a different name than mine is. However, it's important to understand that this is your home folder. And so if you click on that item, in my case it's being displayed by default, it's going to list all of the folders that are contained within your home folder. Now once again, this is where you can store all of your files and it's a good idea to do so in the event that you need to purchase a new computer in the future or if you have to reinstall software on your computer, you know where all of your content is stored. So the first thing we're going to take a look at inside of the home folder is your desktop. Now we covered the desktop in a previous lesson and you can also notice that in the background here we're also looking at our desktop. But if you click on the desktop folder to display its contents, you're going to notice that the folder that's displayed here is also the folder that's displayed here. This is no coincidence, you're actually seeing a mirror of what you're looking at on your desktop. So the desktop itself is really just a folder inside of your home folder. You also have multiple other folders where you can store files. You have your documents folder, which in my case only has one file in here right now, but this is really the main folder where I store all of my files on my computer. Downloads will contain recently downloaded files that you've downloaded from the internet. The library folder contains a vast array of settings related to your particular user account. It contains information such as preferences for the individual applications and much, much more. You really, for the most part, are going to stay away from this folder unless you're directed to do so maybe by technical support or somebody who does know what they're doing inside of the library folder. The movies folder allows you to store movies that you have downloaded or edited if you purchased the iLife suite of programs or any other movies that you might want to store. It's just a great categorized area where you can put your movies. Music allows you to put your music in here and if you're using the iTunes application to organize your music this is where your iTunes folder will be located. iTunes by the way is a music player that is a free download from Apple and it is also installed in Snow Leopard by default. If you click on your pictures folder once again this is where you can store images and photographs that maybe you've taken with your digital camera or scanned on your scanner. And then we also have a public folder, which is where we can share files with other people. We'll touch on this in a future lesson, as well as sites. Now, we're not going to be covering this folder in this particular series of videos. However, it's important to understand that every computer, every version of Snow Leopard has a built-in web server. So it is actually possible to share web pages directly from your computer. So now that you have a good idea of how you would use the home folder, let's move on and learn more about Snow Leopard and what you can do with the software.